What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Prop In. If it is your first time here, I go by the name of Spear Spear. What we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful properties in and around South Africa. Today we at one of the most requested locations on this channel. We finally made it happen. Today we are in Camps Bay. Before we get into this tour, massive shout out to Tyler Wandling for giving us the opportunity to look at this listing. And also a special mention and shout out to Mulstock Cars for making this trip a little bit more smooth with hooking us up with the wheels. I'll link both of their details in the description. This house is eight bedrooms, 8.5 bathroom, bathrooms. Finishes are all imported, over 134 square meters off earth with floor area of 700 square meters, currently in the market for 65 million. Guys ready for this tour? I'm ready for this tour. Ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. Right, to begin this tour, firstly, this property is eight bedrooms, 8.5 bathrooms. It's on a 134 square meter earth. And as you can see behind me, architecturally speaking, it's a masterpiece looking at the whole structure. And this property was built in 2013. And the main brief from the, the client, they wanted to emphasize that outdoor living space, but also um, emphasizing the connection of the outdoor area with the indoor area. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start on this floor five floors we're gonna start on this floor look at the outdoor area go inside then start heading our way up until until that master bedroom which is to die for so let's take a look here you're greeted with this stunning outdoor area this lovely rim edge infinity pool which overlooks the cams bay um, houses and obviously this vista of mountain views lines hidden behind us we there's a backdrop of the 12 apostles where else do you get a backdrop and a backyard which you can call the 12 apostles in camps bay so obviously you can see here artificial grass lovely uh, landscaped marble all imported marble tiling surrounding this area you come this side you have a jacuzzi here and a small small cozy area hedged by this see-through balustrades and throughout the hedging the balustrade sits on these lovely cladded stones on the edge and it's quite open here but I feel that because this property is so cantilevered forward and it is the tallest residential structure in and around this area or on the streets the privacy is quite it's, you feel at home yeah it's quite private and also because it's on the slope of the Table Mountain Reserve. Behind you, there's nothing behind you, it's just your own space. It gives that vibe of peaceful tranquility throughout the home. So coming back this side into the interior of the home, well, here, this is the main terrace and this is the secondary terrace. This secondary terrace is quite unique. It's quite special and ideal for that alfresco dining experience. Uh, I could imagine this, the sun's coming out now, but throughout the day it's been quite chilly. But I could imagine this area on that late summer night uh, in Cape Town could be quite special. Built-in barbecue area, finished with this beautiful dark marble. As soon as you walk inside, you, you see these columns that hold up the space quite beautifully and a lovely smooth child finish to these columns. This here is a, is a Dining room table, seating for 12, if my maths is correct. Lovely finish to these stunning, stunning uh, suspended chandeliers. These are proper, proper chandeliers. And the dramatic lighting just emphasizes this whole setup. And behind you guys, you get this beautiful cognac color timber wooden 
um, storage, I guess. Yeah, storage, can store ornaments, flowers, anything really. This whole house is automated, electronically connected to your phone. Standard in these types of properties. All the floors, under heating floors. <laughs> what really, really impressed me is that you have even heated walling. If you've ever heard that, ever, give us a comment. And where you've heard that from, because I might call you out. This is the main kitchen, two gourmet kitchens in this property. Sleek modern finishes, you get this marble countertop. It's, 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 um, it's offset by this darker marble finish. It's quite, it's, it looks more tiled than um, a whole slab of marble, which is it's different. Recess Frank, uh, double Frank, there's another Frank sink in the, I'll show you in the scullery just a minute. Integrated appliance, lens wall in the space, smeg, of course, you can get the sense of the scale of this kitchen. This house was built to palatial scale. So very impressive. Everything here is at a large scale. These are well integrated fridge, smeg, of course, fridges. Here are the freezers, burn area there, everything, of, of course, smeg, um, overhead extractor. I'll show you guys this area quickly. Here's sort of the, the second gourmet kitchen. You can call it a, not really a scullery. Like, I, I don't know what type of scullery has a marble finish. That's very <laughs> impressive. Smeg overhead extractor, extra additional fridges if you have, if it's bulking season. So coming through this side, still on this main floor, coming through this side, this is the outdoor area. Beautiful cladded rock area here. And one beautiful detail which you have here is that there's sort of a, a cavity between this clad and the, the exterior wall, which drops water into this slit of plant area. So it never actually needs to be irrigated or anything. Quite cool. Outdoor areas, this is quite nice maybe to have an outdoor living dining experience. Coming back here, you, this area is hedged and closed off by these floor to ceiling aluminium pocket doors. Not really pocket doors, but sliding doors that give you that overall panoramic view of Camps Bay and the surrounding areas. Coming through this side, I don't know what you guys think, but this couch here is a statement piece. You have this cognac color, strong and very, it has presence very massive i wonder how they got it in here this side you have this dark black wooden cabinetry if i just open it for you guys tv set up here for those that are wondering where the tv is and you have this beautiful beautiful recessed marble dark marble fire gas place days like this you need that so coming through let's go through this side first i know i know Property like this probably has a cinema, you're all right. Cinema here, seating, I think that's as bright as it gets and it makes sense since it's a cinema. Seating for 10 to 10, eight people. Cinema, TV, surround sounds throughout the whole house. And you have this door which you can shut this roller door for a little bit of, a little bit of a more dramatic feeling. Aircon throughout the house, these are the standard things. Coming through this side, sure, if you guys can just see the views from now, it's, it's actually crazy. Coming through this side into the property, you get this lovely, lovely staircase, which seems to be, has the illusion of it seems to be suspended, but actually isn't. The, the hedge, the, the treads have this wooden finish and the risers are actually um, paint to the white, which on the, with the backdrop, it seems as though they are suspended using these um, sort of wires. Quite impressive. You have the bathroom set up, not bathroom, but a powder room set up here. Black marble finish to the walling. Beautiful triangular prism type of uh, vanity. Slit opened here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. As a guest, you feel special in this bathroom, which is something that you want to, for your guests in this type of home. And then one thing I didn't mention, oof, guys, look at that. Look at that view from here. 
you get a glimpse of the surrounding areas from this slit of aluminium window and, and you also get that um, edge window there and one thing I did mention is that with the five floors you don't want to be going up and downstairs the whole time so there's an elevator to all the floors let's go to the bath floor you come to this fourth level where you have Firstly, you have this sort of pause lounge area with the backdrop. Oh, guys, this backdrop here is to die for. These vistas and just an overall view of the backdrop mountain range is sensational. You come to the side floor, still marble, all imported marble, and you come to the first guest bedroom. I guess you could call it a guest bedroom, but the quality just makes me doubt that it's for guests. I'd take this. The finishes here are sensational. It's, 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 it's consistent with what happens or the main bedroom, which we will see later. Backdrop of this light white uh, marble. This vanity fabricated from a marble finish and offset by this walnut vanity. Sanitary wear, black, of course. I think whoever actually, let me tell you guys who did. This property is the creation of award-winning architect um, Michael Bornstrom um, of Archie Lab. So I need to actually talk to him and tell him he, he did a good job here. Anyways, <laughs> massive, massive shower head, rainwater shower head, um, black faucet finish, beautiful, beautiful. And the floor is also a stone sort of tiling finish. It's everything here, you get a sense of the luxe feel ample ample amount of storage wall wall finish uh, wallpaper finish to this side and then you get this view with the see-through balustrade from your guest bedroom and that's quite impressive for a guest bedroom and you have this wrap wrap around not wrap around but a longitudinal um, linear balcony that goes from guest bedroom to the other guest bedroom you have these roller for days where the sun is just too much. You have these roller shutter blinds, which you can close and open just to block out that sun. And a, a beautiful detail in this room, you have this recessed pocket of space here with this uh, mirror finish, quite cool. You have these modern, modern oak flooring that continues throughout the bedrooms. If you know, you know. Let me know if you know. Give us a thumbs up if you know. Then here, it's just the, the presence and the, the feeling in this bathroom, I can't explain, I can't put it into words. The, the sheer scale of the marble finish, the standalone bathtub, yeah, everything here you can see it's to the utmost detail, luxury, Feel. And now that I'm looking back, the scale of this door, if you guys stay there and you just look at the scale of this door, it's a floor to ceiling door, which is quite crazy. Um, even in this bathroom, you have access to the back backyard area where you can just go out. So you have your sort of like your private area here, nice, tranquil, calm area where you can just relax, take a break from everything and come back. Of course, I prob I'm probably guessing, but those toilets are probably soft clothes. But the biggest test that will be to see if the, the top floor bathroom is soft clothes. Right, as soon as you go into the main bedroom area, this is where the whole space shows off. The top floor is dominated just by the main bedroom area. One bedroom, the whole floor on the top floor. And you look at the finishes and you just, you can't help but smile. This is, it's luxury epitomized and it's all, it's all concentrated in this room. And as a master bedroom, you deserve this. The view, you get this panoramic view of Camps Bay, 
Cam's Bay area, the beach, Lion's Head, the 12 Apostles, you have all the views which you want. And one of the things which is quite special is this standalone bath, the ceramic white standalone bijou uh, bath is quite special. And then you have this faucet tap black. It's a nice touch, this side table. You have these columns which hold up the space beautifully. It's, it's a beautiful finish that doesn't really, I thought it would intrude on the space, but it doesn't. Obviously you can't have this massive cantilever without significant support. And from the main bedroom, you, you, you have this decking out here, sort of your own, almost your own uh, rooftop. Obviously views, views, views. I could actually see the cable cart that's going down from Table Mountain, which is which is <laughs> it's actually quite crazy. And like the other the other bedroom, you have this wraparound balcony. This these shutters also close off in case you don't want the light coming in. And these pocket doors close the whole space. See through balustrades, and <laughs> you have a walk-in closet, which is one of the best we've seen so far and you even have a yoga yoga studio which we'll see now now just but just coming through this side and if you weren't impressed yet get impressed by the sauna um you have a your private sauna here coming through this side you have a dual shower head massive walk-in shower just looking at the scale i love this backdrop of this marble infused with the green sort of looks like it's been aging but it's not actually the marble that has these pops of green beautiful this is recessed these shower heads have, have to be some of the most biggest shower heads i've ever seen in my life the floor is continuation of the black the black tiling which we've seen around the home then the this vanity, all marble fabricated vanity with this cognac sort of color, timber finish, uh, dual, dual um, sink with these black faucet bits. And this side you get the water closet and while you're using the water closet, you, <laughs> you don't have to be in too much distress. You have this beautiful view to look at and uh, abundant color uh, lighting coming in the space. Amazing, amazing. Whoa, you won't forget to check. You won't forget to check. But I'm sure, I'm sure. If it's not, I'll, I'll actually be disappointed because I've been raving about this home. Um, Soft clothes, I knew it. Put money on it. I put my house on it. Anyways, coming back this side into the main uh, bedroom area. I said I'll show you guys the, the yoga studio. You get this, this area here, yoga studio. And while you're doing your stretches, yoga stretches, the views. Massive mirror to look at if you have the right form. And this side is sort of the, the lounge area for this floor, only accessible to the main bedroom. And if you want to shut the space down or shut the space off for a little bit of a, a meeting or anything sort of, you can close these, close that behind you guys and the space is shut off. Behind you guys, you get this picturesque view of the mountain range behind us and as I've said this space is bordering Table Mountain Reserve it's just stunning guys it's actually just stunning I can't I can't <laughs> I can't just I can't sit, put into words the scale and how impressive this home is and you get these beautiful artworks throughout the the home which complement the space so well and these wires go from the for fifth floor till the bottom floor, which is long wires. It's actually our oh, long wires. And coming this side, you still get the views here and the lift this side. 
Let's actually go down to see some of the other guest bedrooms. You walk out the left and this side you get the laundry room which we won't show you guys. And the scale of these stairs are just insane. This is the ground floor which I'm sure you guys seen in the introduction. So here's one of the, the guest bedrooms. Also similar finishes with this dark wooden backdrop from the bed. You also have your own view, a little bit different, a little bit hidden because you are on the second floor of this whole home. But still, I'd, I'd take this <laughs> modern, modern oak flooring. Um, you get this linear bal uh, balcony, see-through balustrades, and these floor to ceiling sliding doors. And you do have these roller shutters that close off the space and make it dark, I guess. Um, storage, you have ample amount of storage, more than you could ask for. There's a safe there for all your belongings. Beautiful cabinetry. And also here, similar finishes to what we've seen before. This dark, dark, dark. I actually love this finish too. This marble vanity drawer. Shower here, and of, of course you have these extractors. Beautiful uh, lighting, recessed lighting and directional lighting. Um, everything you need in a, a bathroom as a guest in this home. First one. Second one, this side. And I love how the, the lighting is coming in now that the sun is not really setting, but it's dropping. Difference between this bedroom and the one that we've just seen is that the placement of the cabinetry is a bit different, um, slightly different, but still the same quality. And if you see the difference, as soon as you walk into the bedroom, the, the floor finish changes into the, the modern oak um, from the tile, the marble tiling. Right, bring it all together, I think. Looking at this home, you get the sense of this impressive palatial scale that the designer was aiming to emulate and they got it spot on. Architecturally speaking, it is sublime. We, we first looked at that first entertainment outdoor area. We have that not a beautiful secondary terrace area. And then you had that main terrace area, which had that infinity edge pool and, and sort of flanked by that jacuzzi, which was just prime for inviting friends and family and on a beautiful summer Cape Town day it is prime before we get to the end of this video I'd like to hit a massive shout out to Taylor Wantley for giving us this amazing opportunity and of course shout out to Millstock for allowing us to arrive here in style check them out they have nice nice wheels um, and if you haven't yet subscribed do subscribe give us a thumbs up it really does help the channel and thank you so much for the people that have been supporting this channel and, and commenting and interacting in the comment sections we see everyone we see all the suggestions from us at this prop in to you guys stay safe see you soon